I felt so enlightened, like I'm finally on the floor, like, I'm doing nursing stuff, something I wanted to do since I was 14. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. I'm so excited for today's video and just today in general because today is my very first day of clinical for nursing school. If you guys don't know who I am, hi, I'm currently a second year nursing student at the University of Ottawa and I'm studying to get my bachelor's of science in nursing. For my program, we don't start clinical until second semester of second year. So it's kind of something that all of us have been looking forward to. I know I have and I'm so excited that despite the pandemic and everything like that, that we are still able to go on site and get that clinical experience. We are getting all of our clinical hours. We have 72 hours on site, six shifts in person, and four virtual days. So it will be so fun. I'm really excited. I'm so sorry about the lighting and overexposure and whatnot. I tried to fix it, but as we know, my, my room is all white and super bright and my camera just gets confused, so hopefully that's okay. My hair is a bit dirty, not gonna lie, but I, I'm gonna wash it tonight after clinical. I felt like that made sense. So today's Friday, February 26th. It's my first day of clinical, and then my second day is just gonna be on Sunday. So the way our clinical schedule works is we are on site twice a week, every other week. So this Friday and this Sunday, I'm on site. And then next Friday, next Sunday, I'll have, I believe it's vSIM for clinical. So just like a virtual simulation clinical type of thing. Very, very excited to say the least. So right now like a lot most people are at long-term care for my stream and then main stream is all at like I think the general hospital I believe I am at another hospital. I'm not gonna say what it is You can probably figure it out if you're like in nursing honestly, but yeah, that's where I am I'm not in long-term care. So our protocols are different We don't have to do COVID testing and we don't have to do all these extra forms and stuff like that All we needed to complete was the CNO, which is the College of Nurses of Ontario I think before you post quiz which is about social media policies and taking pictures and stuff at clinical etc etc I'm pretty adamant on like not filming at clinical nor lab because they're very strict so I hope you guys can understand that for this video as well there there really probably is not going to be any footage in the actual clinical placement that's just kind of what it is but just a few like uh, safety precautions so obviously I'm going to be taking my face shield I need to go get that and then we're just going to be changing into our scrubs when we get there I don't know if this is 100% required for my placement I do believe it's required for long-term care but just for that extra precaution that's just what we're doing Doing, just to make sure everything is good. I have this little form over here. It is a student learner placement consent thing. I am going to bring this with myself and I have a pen in my bag. So I was thinking of maybe filling it out, but it asked for like SIN number and hours and all that type of stuff. And I don't know. I know my SIN number, but I don't know like the hours and all the extra things that they need or like the level and all these things here, but I just printed it. A girl in a group chat that I'm in who had clinical yesterday at my same place said that she filled the form, but they didn't ask. So I just wanted to have it right now. So it's 10 35 a.m. right now and my clinical starts at 1. Originally it was supposed to be from 7 to 3 but my clinical instructor had scheduling conflicts so today we're going for 1 o'clock and then we have orientation. It's Meditech orientation. I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't know what exactly it's for. I thought it was for like the EMR and stuff but I'm not sure but that's what it is so that's two hours long and then after that we'll get on the floor. We cannot go on the unit until we do our training so that's kind of why everything is all over the place so I don't really know when I'm going to finish today because the hours are supposed to be eight hours like I don't know maybe they'll let us go early because it's the first day like I just I don't know all these things so I need to go figure that out honestly but yeah that's sort of that I'm trying to like get everything out right now just so I don't forget anything but yeah so I'm wearing very chill clothes right now I'm wearing this it's like a crew neck from pink I bleached it and then I'm just wearing like those really comfy pants from 90 degrees or like my work pants because they're just so comfy but I will be changing into my scrubs I have them in a bag I'll show you the scrubs I'm wearing today so my scrubs are are from Scrubs for Them. Scrubs for Them is a store in Carlingwood Mall here in Ottawa and they have a huge selection of clothing for like all healthcare workers like dentists, dental hygienists, nurses, massage therapists, doctors, like they, they have everything. They even have things for chefs so definitely go check that out. I'm a brand ambassador but I genuinely really love the shop. You're also supporting local and the owners are very very nice people. Everyone who works there is so nice so definitely go to Scrubs for Them. They have so much and even though with COVID right now you can still try things on in their store which is really really nice but I decided to choose my purple scrubs today so this is the elevate one by irg i showed these all in my scrub shopping vlog i don't think i'll have footage of me wearing these today at clinical because like i said i can't vlog there and i'm changing into it but it's just this really nice top like this and it's a bit longer on the back and i kind of felt like going for this vibe today and i love the purple color so 
win-win situation. I think putting that to the screen just messed up the exposure a bit. Hopefully it'll fix itself, but these are the pants. I love the pants. They're very, very, very comfortable. I really like the drawstring too because just it's an essential. And these are, they're like a little wider, but they're not super wide. And I actually really like these. I do have a fitted pair too that's like more of a straight leg. Sorry, I think that's better. Um, I do have like a fitted pair that's more of a straight leg, but I'm not wearing that today. So I'll probably wear those on Sunday and then I can wash these all after that. But yeah, and then I'm gonna bring a black shirt to wear underneath my scrubs. A lot of people recommended that it can get pretty chilly, so I might get cold, but I also sweat very easily, so I'm kind of debating on that, but I have that on my bed over there. You can't tell. I didn't buy compression socks yet, so that was dumb of me, but hopefully it'll be okay. Hopefully I can get by today. And then let me show you guys the shoes that I'm taking because I think this is funny. Okay, so the shoes that I've made my clinical shoes are my black Air Force ones. Yes. Don't, do not say anything. These shoes I've had since grade 11 and they're kind of at their, not end of life, but I just want new ones. I want maybe white ones or something. I don't know. But they're very, very comfortable shoes. I used to wear them whenever I worked retail and they were so comfy and they're just really good shoes. Anna Hyde also wears these for clinical and that's kind of where I got the idea from, but they're very comfy. So I had to do it. I had to do it. What else do I have here? Because I may as well show you. I'm like kind of getting my bag ready right now, but this is my stethoscope case. Don't know if we'll be using this today, but my stethoscope in there. I wanted to get a stethoscope little tag, but I couldn't find any. The ones I saw on Amazon, I just wasn't a fan of and they didn't have good reviews. So, and then I have my little badge over here too. So I have my ID on both sides because I have two different IDs. So yeah, I'm not showing those. And then it's like this, has a little clip. And then this also has like a thing. Oh my God, for your keys. So I put my lock here for my locker and then these are my keys. Yeah. I don't know why that wasn't focusing right there, but that's worth everything. I don't think I need to really put anything else. I have two slices of pizza from yesterday that I am going to take for lunch and like a granola bar maybe. And then I think that's basically going to be it. So yeah, I'm going to pack up my bag and all, fill out that form a little bit. And then my family and I were actually going to get breakfast today, which I think is going to be really nice. Having a nice breakfast, going to clinical. And today I'm actually just going to get driven to and from clinical because I don't know if you guys know me, but like I have anxiety. So for me, it's always really nice whenever I go to a new place for the first time. For example, like for work, I did the same thing. If I can, I like to just get driven there so I can sort of scope out like the parking and stuff like that. So the first day I'm not scrambling to figure out what the parking situation is, you know what I mean? I wanted to do two braids, but I totally forgot. So that will probably be the hairstyle for Sunday. This is like a 10 minute long clip. So I just want to go pack everything up, make sure I have it all, everything good to go. And then we will go to clinical. Okay, so I'm just going to get my face shield. And this is sort of a mess right now, so I gotta go pack this all up. I definitely need to get a separate clinical bag. My bag literally looks like it's about to like bust from the seams. This is really funny to me. Also, I didn't want to squish my face shield, so I just have it here. I, I am under the impression that they're going to provide face shields. Not 100% sure, but um, I'm just gonna bring mine just in case, honestly, because like I already have one, so. But yeah, it's all good. I have everything. You just Tuscan leather and the other one. I I I forgot that one. Right? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Eventually. currently 6 16 p.m. I got in not too long ago and I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys all about my clinical. I'm still in my scrubs but honestly like we didn't see any patients today. I know I should get out of them. I promise I'm gonna get out of them right after this. I won't be doing this after every clinical obviously but we didn't have any contact with patients today so and I'll get into that but originally my placement my clinical was supposed to be from 7 a.m. but my clinical instructor had some scheduling conflicts because my clinical instructor is also teaching a different section as well so we just went for some orientation and then we got training on the EMR, which is super cool and interesting. And we got to see like documenting, you know, how to view a patient's chart, all that type of stuff, charting, how we need to go about things. And it's just really cool stuff, honestly. It was kind of a lot of steps, but like it was also pretty straightforward too. It wasn't too hard. I have like a little bit of a headache, I'm sorry. My brother picked me up and then we got Starbucks. I got a Starbucks refresher because I needed some 
caffeine but i just wasn't feeling coffee but yeah so i got there everybody in my clinical group is just so nice my clinical instructor too is super awesome my clinical instructor is a practice support nurse at my hospital that i'm at so my instructor basically helps everybody out with things so when we were getting a tour of the floor it was really interesting because there was so much going on you know so it was really cool seeing all that stuff firsthand because my clinical instructor is the psn we were able to see all that stuff because he's there to help them even though today he was there as an instructor but they see him and they're like hey can you help us and he helped them and it was pretty cool seeing all that stuff going on in the hospital kind of chaotic but like not really and i know people say nurses eat their young but i did not get that impression from this hospital at least or from the floor or whatever basically nurses eat their young if you haven't heard of that it's just that nurses don't like students nursing students coming on the floor they try to scare them away etc etc i know that's been the case for other people maybe not in ottawa but on youtube and stuff but i did not get that impression at all the nurses that we passed by or whatever that we were introduced to all said like you know have fun good luck like you know like you're gonna love it we hope you love it we hope you come back here for your consolidation like sorry my feet are hurting <laughs> But yeah, all the nurses were like, we hope you guys love it. We hope you come back for consolidation in two years. We'd love to see you. It was just so nice. Like everyone is just so sweet. I shared a locker with one of the girls in my clinical group. She didn't have a lock. And I was like, you can just share a locker with me today because why not? But yeah, we also got to see like some of the PSWs and healthcare aides, the ones that pass out food to the patients there. We also passed by the occupational therapist and the physiotherapist offices and I found it so funny because their chairs were those big yoga medicine balls so that was like funny to me but yeah like overall it was a really nice experience I love the place that I'm at I didn't figure out parking yet but I'll I'm gonna be getting a ride on Sunday too apparently so probably don't have to worry about that but my next day is going to be on Sunday and that is going to be 7 a.m to 2 p.m and I believe this this is like actually gonna be our day on the floor the reason why today we weren't able to go on the floor was because we had to get our training of the EMR and our orientation done before we could go on the floor but my clinical instructor has a morning group and it, everything conflicted so our training got pushed for later in the day and then we couldn't go on the floor we didn't have enough time so that's kind of what happened but I'm really excited to go on Sunday my instructor is really nice too and they really like my instructor encourages tons of questions which I really like it's really nice and I'm so happy that I I get such an amazing experience at my clinical going in I was definitely anxious and whatnot but I really like it everybody's so nice and obviously it feels really cool to be walking around in your scrubs with your little ID badge and I'm not gonna lie though I got like a little bit emotional because I just walked by certain patients rooms and you know I you never know but I just kind of got emotional looking at them for whichever reason that I'm not going to be going into detail but got a little bit emotional on that however I loved being on the floor I love the hospital setting I just loved it there was not one moment that I thought thought to myself like you're in the wrong profession there was not one moment and i definitely think for a profession like this you need to be driven one but your heart has to be in it you know and i think my heart is in it and i felt so enlightened i'm finally on the floor like i'm doing nursing stuff something i wanted to do since i was 14 and now i'm in my scrubs on a hospital floor on a unit like it's so crazy yeah not to get like emotional but yeah i'm in my scrubs i changed into them when i got there however there's not much space and a lot of people just wear their scrubs there and I think I'm just gonna do that however because I'll be having patient contact from now on I'm probably just gonna change out of my scrubs to go home just for COVID reasons and just things like that you know but today like I said no patient contact so I didn't have to worry about that but yeah I'm gonna be drinking this I'm gonna be enjoying it I had a really great day I'm looking forward to Sunday I'm going to rest for a bit get out of these clothes and then I'm going to go work out that was sort of how my first day of clinical went I definitely totally wish I could have vlogged inside the hospital but that is something that I won't be doing and I hope you guys can understand that anyway I'm gonna get out of these clothes get on my workout clothes take a bit of a rest and then I'm gonna be editing for the rest of the night I'm so happy that tomorrow I can sleep in and also catch up on schoolwork so that'll be great but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up the subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new if you are currently at a clinical placement i'd love to know where you are you don't have to tell me obviously the location but just whatever unit you're on whatever type of facility you're in i would love to know because i think it's so cool but that's all for me and i will see you guys in the next one